Hey everyone, it's Jamie from Independent Street NOLA and Seasons and Ritual, and I'm here to talk about the 1111 portal that takes place on November 11th. Um, every month has its own portal day, and that is the day when the month and the day repeat. So 12, 12, 1, 1, 3, 3. Um, one of the reasons 1111 is so popular is because of angel numbers, 1111. We see 1111, um, and also the two 11s do look like a portal. So, um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that. And what I think I'm going to do too is pull a couple cards um, from the Rider Waite, which I don't think I've ever pulled cards before um, in a video, not even on Instagram when I would do it for Instagram. And then I will, um, I think we'll do a little meditation at the end um, to ground in some good energy for 1111. So. When people usually talk about 1111, they a lot of times reference the Four of Wands, which is this card right here. As you can see, it looks like two 11s. Um, and the Four of Wands is known, or is known, or I would say the way I read the Four of Wands is the homecoming card, right? Um, because they've come home and they are victorious. And as you can see, the masculine and feminine are represented. Um, they are standing underneath the fruits of their labors, if you will. <clears throat> they are holding um, flowers or bouquets, and they have um, laurel wreaths adorned uh, on their heads to signify the victory. So, first and foremost, what you'll notice is that my cat decided to come. Okay, first and foremost, you'll notice that all the yellow in this card, um, yellow signifies our solar plexus. Um, yellow signifies to me, and you guys, this is me. This is, if this doesn't resonate, that's okay. Um, it's important to find people that you resonate with. Um, so the yellow to me signifies our solar plexus. It signifies the sun. The sun is that masculine energy that moves us. Our solar plexus is our self-esteem. Okay, and so this card talks about coming home, um, coming home to yourself and being victor victorious and in, in, in realizing to me who you are, um, your authentic self, um, grounding in this idea that you can show up and, and be happy. And the way this is translated also depends too on other cards that come with it, but just for this, um, talking about the 1111 portal. That's what I'm going to go off of. Um, you can see there's lots of red in this card. Red is our root chakra. And I um, signify all these colors to chakras. Um, okay, just so you know. Um, our root chakra is in our growing. Our root chakra is just that's where we grow our roots. That's where we um, feel connected to the earth. And then you also see lots of blue. And blue is our throat. It's our throat chakra. So we know we're being heard. And so this is a good card, um, especially to, with today um, or right now. Uh, and, and I don't really want to tie it to like the U.S. elections, but it is a good card to know that you are being heard. And, you feel like, and if you feel like your voice isn't being heard on a national level, um, you need to know that you personally are being heard. Um, we've got to get out of this idea that we are not empowered. We need to realize that we, do, we are empowered. Um, we are grounded, um, we are being heard. Um, and so because it is in this age of Aquarius, it's important for you to know that, right? And you start seeing how you show up. 11-11 um, for um, Sagittarius, I mean, Scorpio season, sorry. Sorry, I knew I was gonna do that. 11-11 um, for Scorpio season, right? Um, Scorpio is a fixed water sign. Scorpio is our emotions. Scorpio is in the lunar south node. Um, and so when planets are in the, or excuse me, when signs are in the lunar south node, they are leaving their lower traits, you know. And so it is good to see that, you know, with this 1111 portal, see all these, um, you know, secrets, um, untruths, unless I guess lies, all these things just going away, all those lower vibrations of Scorpio, like manipulation, um, hypnotism, all those things, all those things are, are, are leaving 
in this 1111 portal. Um, and what's coming through is this, the, the higher vibrations of Scorpio, um, knowing who you are, showing up authentically, knowing your feelings, um, knowing you're being heard, listening to, receiving what other people are saying, you know, that's how we become victorious. So um, I will also say this, I do find it interesting, um, just this time now, that the Four of Wands, you know, wands in the Tarot deck represent fire and passion. And um, for the past month or so, if you've been listening to um, Helen and I on our weekly celestial chat, we've been talking about this fixed T-square that keeps coming up. And Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio are all involved. And when, when they're involved, you know, squaring each other, the way you break that square is with the sign, the, the other fixed sign that's not involved, and that would be Leo, right? And Leo is the sun. Leo is ruled by the sun. Leo is that fire. Um, it is so is it important, you guys, if you feel like you're very angry and, you know, kind of pissed off, it's important to let that fire burn through that, okay? It's also important to have that self-awareness that maybe what's happening is that you are burning through old paradigms, right? Old ideas, because there is there is a lot of things shifting. So on one hand, you're going through your life and you're doing your normal things at the grocery and then, or whatever. And then at the same time, there are things that are, I almost said the F word, they're pissing you off, right? It's important for you to take a look at yourself, right? 11-11, it could be a mirror. Um, and realize, is my life super shitty and fill in the blanks? Or what is happening is that these old ideas are coming up and triggering me so I see what they are, so I can let them go. Because the reality of it is, you know, I, I am happy or I'm happier than I was or I am more stable than I was um, or I'm more secure. Or I am a better communicator. I do have more self-esteem. All these things, okay? So it's really important, especially with that lunar eclipse we just had and this <laughs> election and then this 1111 portal. Things are really wanting to shift, okay? And with all this fire, right, that fire is coming in and that fire is helping us transmute. That fire is helping inspire us to see how far we can go. And that fire is also keeping us and warm, right? So the idea is that if you're burning up, which listen, this, I, I mean, I, I have, like I have, like a, I'm driving down the street and things are just like burning in me, but I'm also knowing, okay, um, these ideas or thoughts are coming up and I'm allowing them just to burn through. And when they come up, you know, I, I say, I know this is what I'm feeling, it's really pissing me off, or it's really burning my ass, or whatever, burning my head, I always say my head's on fire. I'm an air sign, so maybe that's why I say my head's on fire. But the reality of it is, like, I can see myself just like, like being on fire, right? Because the logical side of me um, that's grounded is saying, you know, Jamie, everything's actually okay in your life. These things are going fine, and I go through my list, right? Um, what is happening is that you're burning through those old paradigms. You're burning through those old stories. You're burning through those ways of being. And so I, I thank them for coming up. I'm not saying I thank them with like love and light. I just thank them for coming up and I thank them for burning. I thank them for transmuting. Um, I thank the other people that are involved. And, and I just say like, I know they were there to help me learn this lesson. I really don't mean them or think them any harm you know, when I transmute that energy. And it's just this idea of allowing things to burn through, you know, like really hands off. It's burning through. I have these thoughts. I know they're getting transmuted. I know I'm going to feel better in a few minutes. And I know what my reality is. Okay. So, and if that's something else you guys want to talk about, you guys can always reach out to me via Instagram or email or um, YouTube. So let's pull, okay, I'm going to pull two cards for this 11-11 portal, and then we'll just do a little quick meditation. All right, so this is exciting. I haven't pulled cards before. It, and I, I don't think I'll read, I won't read reversals. We'll just pull it and talk about it. 
can't make this up. First card <laughs> is the Four of Wands. So I think you, the universe is saying that we're doing a good job talking about um, what's coming up right now. And then we'll just see what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh, beautiful. The Eight of Pentacles. The eight, of, the eight of Pentacles, as you can see, still has a lot of yellow, still has a lot of blue, still has a lot of red. Yep. Um, and I have to say this because it keeps coming up. And like, look, in the United States, blue represents Democrats, red equals Republicans. And I really do think that it was, it, it's turning out this way because we really have to see that we can work together to get shit done. Okay, because we've got to break out of this idea that only like that these people are making it work and these people are fucking ruining everything. And no, the reality of it is we're all people and we we get things done together. Okay. And so I really think that um, that's why things are so close. You guys all know I lean more um, blue than red, but some of my very best friends are Republicans and, and we're fine. We actually agree just about on everything except for maybe one or two like fiscal stuff. It's like, it's okay. We still love each other and get along and take out the fucking garbage and whatever, you know, volunteer, all those things. Um, and so I do, I, I, I did have to say that. I do think that um, it is time for us to start seeing that we can actually get shit done um, together, okay? It's not us versus them or these people are ruining everything. Like, we're smarter than that, you guys. Like, we, we can do this. So, bring that energy in with this 1111 portal for sure. Okay, so we have the Four of Wands, right? Which is this victory, and then the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is the artist at work, right? And the artist at work is knows what they want to get done. Um, and they're always working outside the village because they don't need the peanut gallery telling them what should be happening and what shouldn't be happening. Pentacles is Earth. Pentacles is um, Taurus, quite honestly. That's fixed Earth, um, or any fixed sign, quite honestly. Um, but pentacles also represent um, stability. You know, and you can see he's on his very stable bench wearing his finest apron, um, pounding out these pentacles. Pentacles are also abundance, right? So money, right? So it's also this idea that we are safe and we are abundant and we can keep being abundant. Um, it's time to like get rid of this, move through this idea of fear and lack for sure. So um, that did come up earlier today actually when I was thinking about this. So keep, you know, working on this idea that you are safe. Keep working on this idea that you are sovereign. Keep working on this idea that we can actually all be abundant. You can be abundant. I can be abundant. They can be abundant. And with this 11.11 portal, it's releasing all that fear um, and secrecy and that, that we were hypnotized that that couldn't happen, right? That's the Scorpio, lower Scorpio being um, released. And so we've come together in victory in our authentic selves, which is saying, I know who I am and I love myself and you know who you are and you love yourself. Um, and we can come together and be victorious because... Um, the, that feeling of love is honestly what conquers all and what rules. And so it's okay to um, use this fire that's happening. And you guys remember, we just had that uh, full lunar eclipse, total lunar eclipse in Taurus, right? And so I know that's a nod to that, that we're working on this idea of coming together and um, building what it is that we want, working on in, in its creation, you know, Taurus is creation. Taurus is ruled by Venus. Um, Venus is that divine feminine. So it's important for us to know that we can create what it is that we want. And the way we do that is knowing who we are, coming home to ourselves, coming back into our authentic selves, and allowing this just to take place. Okay? All right. So let's do... The tower wanted to come up too. We're shifting, you guys. We're moving a bunch of energy. So allow things to shift. Okay? So let's just do a quick little meditation. <clears throat> and by doing that, we're just going to take a really deep breath in and let it out. And then I'm just going to thank um, 
my guides and angels and everyone else's guides and angels on this 1111 portal. I ask that we bring in and allow ourselves to believe in miracles and to see what shows up. I also ask that we can say that we are abundant. I also ask that we can say we do know who we are. We are getting to know ourselves and we are getting to know our neighbors and we see that there is security in that, love in that, and, and, it, and we can be joyful in that as well. Okay, so then I invite you to go ahead and keep riffing on this and saying thank you for this um, day of 1111 portal. And then you can fill in um, your own little meditation and your own little um, prayer or affirmation, if you will, you guys. And then after that, I always say thank you, thank you, thank you. I always say thank, thank you three times. As I just always have. Um, and then, of course, um, I just feel good. Okay. So I'm going to wrap it up. Um, thank you guys for going on this trip through the 1111 portal with me. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out via my Instagram or my YouTube channel and um, enjoy this 1111 day. And if, and if you guys um, are, are bummed out or sad or, or full of grief and you don't feel like you can um, participate in this 1111, just know that other people are for you. And that you can be open to receiving all this grounding energy and love and blessings. Okay, till next time, you guys.